Thank you, Father. Yeah, so I, I want people to receive. I don't have a message today. I have just a, a stream, a flow from heaven. Because today is a special day on the biblical calendar. And when there's a special day on the biblical calendar, it's not just a day to overlook. It's a day to lean in and to press in and to align your thoughts, your spirit, with what heaven is saying on this day. Yes. Passover is not just a holiday. Passover is a day of deliverance. Yes. Amen. It's a day of salvation. Yes. So we align. You say, okay, that's nice. It's not academic. It's aligning our spirits with what God is doing on a particular day. And today is an amazing day. Today is the last day of spiritual winter. Tonight at sunset is the first day of the first month of the biblical calendar, which God says is the springtime. Spiritual springtime. Hallelujah. Starts tonight at sunset. This means that all the work that the Lord has been doing underground in the winter reaches its fullness today and starts to manifest and grow and push out of the ground into the world starting tonight. This is not just an encouraging message. I'm not just speaking like fortune cookie type of prophecy. This is alignment with what heaven is saying today. Because God's calendar is supernatural. And it governs the universe. And God's calendar tells us today, winter is over. And springtime is now. Starts now. Hallelujah. And Lord knows that this world has been going through a fairly long winter. But I believe that God in this time, with this season, with this springtime, is pouring forth a blessing and an outreach and an expansion. Every spring there's an expansion. It's like a perennial flower. You plant it and then it kind of dies and there's this amazing work that happens underground. And then the next season it comes up and it's bigger. And that's what we're going to experience in this season. We are going to experience supernatural blessing. Yes. So let's align yes. our, our spirits and our faith yes. with the reality that heaven says springtime starts now, the winter is past. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Adonai. Yes. Thank you, Father. Amen. It's also an amazing day because we, even we read it, it's, it's so funny how the Torah portions that we read align with things when the Torah portions we read are kind of man-made. The Torah is not man-made. God delivered the Torah word for word to Moses on the mountain, word for word, letter by letter. But the breaking it apart into weekly portions is something that's rabbinic. And, but it's amazing how things intersect that we see in the Torah portion today. As we approach Nisan 1, we see the tabernacle being completed and anointed, and that happens on Nisan 1. Yep. On that day, and we read it today in the Torah portion, the anointing, the completion, the completion of the tabernacle. And when we realize that you here, we all, are tabernacles of God, yes. temples of God, Amen. the spirit in heaven, heaven's rhythm is saying today that the completion is, is done. The work is done. The building project is complete. The things that I have been building in you and growing in you and putting together in you <laughs> finds its completion tonight. Amen. Finds its completion tonight. This is the day in spirit.
that everything was put together, all the different things that were that were put together and built separately. The lampstand was built separately, and the table was built separately, and the curtains were sewn separately, and the rods were put together separately, and everything was everything was was created. It is today, it's on Nissan One, it starts tonight, is the day when all the elements of the Mishkan, of the tabernacle, of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, was put together. Put together, put together, put together. So in spirit, what God is saying is that all the different areas I've been working on you in your life, all these things, it comes together tonight. Mm -hmm. It comes together. The parts connect together. And this is the blessing because we don't understand like why God is doing things or bringing us certain places or doing things in our lives or causing things to happen or challenges in our lives. The supernatural connection starts tonight. Mm -hmm. When we realize, you know what, this crazy thing that I've been praying away and I've been struggling with actually connects. Amen. Yes. It connects. Tonight is the day, or tonight is the night, or tomorrow is the day. However you want to say it, this Jewish day thing was starting in the evening will mess up your brain. But tomorrow, Nisan 1, which starts tonight, is the time of the connection. <clears throat> is the time of the connection. And I want you to link up your faith to that. That the things that you've been struggling with, that you don't even see a reason why God is doing these things in your life, all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I see it now. It's part of the tabernacle. It's there for a reason. He brought this in my life for a reason. He brought this in my life because it actually fits. It's actually a connection. So thank you, Father. Father, we lift this up to you, Lord God. And we believe in faith, Lord God, that the things that you bring to our lives that seem to be challenges are there for a reason. And we believe on Nissan One that these, the, all the components of the tabernacle connect together. And we're going to see connection in things that we didn't even think connected. Yes. Yeah, that's Thank you, Thank you, Father. 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 After the tabernacle is built on Nissan One, it's ready. <laughs> it's ready for movement. Because the tabernacle, the Mishkan, is not a stationary temple. That's why it's a foreshadow of, of the people of God. It's not stationary. Once it's built and once it's ordained and anointed, it's ready to go on the move. Thank you, Father. Bless your name. Thank you, Father. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Father, we align. Yes our spirits with what heaven is saying today. Amen. And we declare that the winter is over. Amen. Yeah! And springtime has arrived. And growth and expansion has arrived. Thank you, Father. Uh, the, the word I get for this coming prophetic year, it's, it's a, again, that Jewish calendar is all crazy, you know, like it's the first month of the year, but the uh, actual number of the year ticks up in the seventh month. That's why we have Rosh Hashanah in the, in, in the autumn. Uh, even though this is the first month of the year. Um, don't spin around so much around that. But it's, just, it's the start of, of the prophetic year. That's right. It's the start of the prophetic year. Amen. It's a new prophetic year. Amen. And I asked Adonai, what's, like, what's, give me a word. Uh, is there a word that you would give me, Lord, for this new year, the prophetic year? And I feel that the, I feel that the Lord is saying to me, that the, the word for this year is opportunity. Oh. Year of opportunity. And let me just explain opportunity in spirit and where I want I want this to sink in. We have opportunities in my life, in our lives. We have things that God may be bringing us to, or we have visions of maybe where we want to go. And we have ambition. Maybe we're seeking a new job. Or maybe we're looking to make health changes in our lives. Or maybe we're looking to 
start something else, a, a business or a new venture or something, repair family relationships. And everything seems so big. It seems so unattainable because some of the things that we want to do and some of the things that we have a desire to do are so far bigger than ourselves. They're so far bigger than ourselves. Making change, starting something new, and we can get lost in the bigness of where we want to be, where we don't even take a step towards that opportunity. And when I feel, for me, that the Lord is saying, it's the time of opportunity. It's the time of being able to take a step fearlessly. A step. The thing that you're trying to achieve may be large and it may be over here. And it may be out of reach. And that's okay. That may be out of reach. But you know what is not out of reach? That's it. All right. That is not out of reach. And in this time or year of opportunity, I want you to absorb this and, and believe and think for yourself. I'm trying to get here, but I am just hamstrung. I'm stuck. Because I, and I can't get there. Well, Baruch Hashem, you can't get there. Maybe you're not supposed to get there today. Maybe today you're only supposed to get here. And once you're there, you will be closer to where you need to be. And when you're there, God will bless that little move. The little move. God will bless it and speak to you from here more than he's spoken to you from here. Because here you have been called by God to move off of this place, but it's just too much to go as, as far as where you want to go to build this or to do this or to get this job or to improve your health in this area. That's too big. I believe that God is saying, don't worry about that. Just take the step. Amen. Just take one step, one step. It's sort of like that 12 step mentality of, of addiction recovery, where it's, when you think like, oh my God, how am I gonna stay clean the rest of my life? The recovery mindset is, you don't have to stay clean for the rest of your life. No. You have to stay clean today. So focus on the moment and focus on today. And that is biblical. Yeah. Yeshua himself said, let tomorrow Worry about itself. Just focus on today. Then that's it. So I encourage you, year of opportunity. Let's pray about that and absorb that and think about that. That God may not want you to go in one step. He's not calling us to be long jumpers. The Lord guides our steps. He guides our steps. And I encourage you, to have the boldness and the confidence to just take a single step towards where you see yourself going. And when you're there, Amen. you will have an entirely different perspective. Yes. Entirely different perspective. Entirely different perspective. Mm -hmm. It may seem small, but God will bless that little move, that little loaf, that little fish, and you will see a vantage point that's new you weren't able to see from where you're stuck. Amen. I don't know if I want to get that job. Okay. I can apply. That's not committing. I can apply. I can always say no. I can just fill out the resume. One step. I can't lose the weight. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Well, Maybe you can change one of your meals. I can't get into an exercise program, okay? Maybe you can exercise one day a week. I can't break my habit of cigarettes, okay? Maybe you can not smoke from nine to 11 in the morning. Pop away the rest of the day. You may laugh, but God blesses those things. He blesses them. Loaves and fishes. We give the little and God expands. It's a holy thing. I believe this is a time of opportunity. So go get it.
go get it. One step at a time. So Father, we lift up this time to so we thank you, Lord God, that as long as this winter has been, nothing stops your cycles. Amen. Nothing stops your seasons. Nothing stops it. And it's just like as tough as our week can be, Shabbat is coming no matter what. And as tough as a winter can be, springtime is always coming. And we've reached it. It's here. And we align our belief and our faith with that reality. That winter is past. Springtime is coming. And God is calling us to move forward the things he'd like us to achieve. In Yeshua's name. Amen.